Today on Michelle Southern Home Cooking, I'm going to teach you how to make the most flavorful baked flounder. Let's go. I've got two beautiful flounder fillets that I'm going to put on some parchment paper on a baking sheet. But first I'm going to salt and pepper them. So, and then we're going to take some mayonnaise. I'm using Duke's mayonnaise and give a heaping tablespoon into a little ramekin or container that we're going to season. We're going to make seasoned mayonnaise. And to this, I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning, probably about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. I'm also going to add my favorite roasted granulated garlic and a little bit of that. And I think we'll add some parsley too for color. And I'll probably add some at the end too. And then we're gonna mix it up. Just stir until it's combined. Uh, just a few turns of the spoon, it'll mix right up. Then we're gonna take a brush and we're going to brush the back of the flounder fillets. And I have washed and dried these uh, with paper towels. And uh, that, you can't do it with wet fish. It's gotta be dried with paper towels. And uh, then it brushes on nice and easily and place it uh, the skin side down on the parchment paper. Then repeat using the other flounder fillet. Now lay that one down right beside the other one. And then we're going to take that delicious seasoned mayonnaise and we're going to brush the tops of them. You'll want to brush very liberally on top and use the rest of it and just kind of half it for one and the other half for the other. And what this mayonnaise does is encapsulate and holds in the moisture and it kind of bakes in its own moisture and juices and flavors. And the flavors in the mayonnaise just impart such a wonderful taste. And uh, we're going to add something else to it too. Just wait. See, I told you. Some shredded Parmesan cheese. And this is not the pizza sprinkle cheese. This is actually grated Parmesan cheese. And we're going to, again, put right much on top. I, I can't say liberally very well. <laughs> Anyway, so just sprinkle the Parmesan cheese on, and if any gets on the parchment paper, just kind of use your hands to put it back on the fish, okay? I gave it a very quick sprinkle of parsley again, just for to add some color to it, and it makes it look so pretty. We're going to get it in the oven now. Don't they look pretty? We're going to put them in the oven and cook them anywhere from 18 to 22 minutes. And I'm going to set the oven temperature. Now, if you have a convection oven that with the fan that spreads the hot air around, you can put it on 450 convection and mine reduces to 425. But if not, you want to bake it 425. And it is done when it's a beautiful golden brown bubbling at the sides. And that parchment paper just makes it so easy to get up and plate it. Look at that beautiful piece of flounder right beside that gorgeous salad. It's a delicious meal. It's low carb. It's great for anybody, but it's really delicious. I hope y'all will enjoy this and make you some flounder today. Thanks for watching. I sure appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.